2019, tourism reportedly contributed 5.7% to Nigeria's GDP growth, but by 2022, it had come down to about 3.6%. The drop is primarily attributed to the COVID-19 pandemic and the ripple effect. Nigeria's tourism sector has subsequently witnessed a significant shift in consumer behavior, from customized travel experience and itineraries to an increase in digital transformation. Lecturers at this three-day training for stakeholders in the tourism industry say that factors such as customer trust, service branding, emotional intelligence, and improved technology have therefore become critical to meeting the changing demands of the industry. You will so frustrate, be so frustrated that you will have to see the manager. Meanwhile, he has employed someone who is half-baked to do that same work. So our problem is actually in trying to manage what we want to pay our staff to do big jobs for us. Customers should be seen as babies. You know how mothers handle their, their uh, seven months old babies and so on? They should be treated, they should be treated like babies. They want to be pampered. That is it. Minister of Tourism, Lola De John, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Tourism, Mrs. Sibiana Roberts, says that in line with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's renewed hope agenda, the ministry is poised to spearhead a paradigm shift in the tourism industry. The participants were therefore urged to make the best of the capacity building opportunity. By enhancing capacities, we can ensure that our tourism offerings remain competitive, attractive, and responsive to the desires of modern travelers. Our goal is to remain at the forefront of the global tourism market. The Federation of Tourism Association of Nigeria described the training as critical to the survival and sustainability of many businesses in the tourism sector after the setback caused by COVID-19 pandemic.